Adobe has a brand new selection algorithm for select subject and remove background. I recently did a tutorial where we did it against a clean background. And then I had some people ask to test it against a more difficult background and maybe not in such polite ways. Pretty much every example I see is with a clean background. Why won't any reviewer use messy backgrounds? Because that would hurt their shilling. Number one, shilling means you're actually selling something. So number one, it'd have to be a sponsored video, which it's not. And any the other thing, I'd have to have an affiliate link, which there isn't. So exactly what am I selling? So these updates are in Photoshop beta. So we can go into the creative cloud, click on apps, beta, Photoshop beta. That's how you get it. So I have a collection of more difficult images we're going to test. Let's open them. So here's my model, Megan, on a difficult background. Notice I didn't do any tonal adjustments to try and correct it. And I didn't use a shallow depth of field, so the background's not really blurred. So since it works on select subject and remove background, why don't we just try select subject for this one? We, we see the selection. Now, in the real world workflow, I'm going to grab a selection tool and I'm going to go up and select subject and I'm going to refine this edge. But for the sake of this test, which is what it is. So let's just go ahead and we're going to create. Let's go into the beta. See, we are same photo, select subject. And now we are going to isolate the background. OK, so let's zoom in on the regular version. OK, so we get these little chunkies around the borders. We've got the gaps here filled in. And the hair is not very good. OK, that's on the regular version. Let's look at the beta. So on the beta, first thing I notice, the gap is definitely better. Don't really see chunkies on here. I do see a soft edge, but very easily fixed in the mask. The gap's been got. Here's not perfect, but it's definitely better. At the end, we'll compare the side by side. OK, so here's one I shot of Taylor Davis. Let's just choose the select subject quickly and see what we get. There's a selection. We're just going to turn on the mask. OK, it's not bad. It actually got the piece of the bow, got most of that. The hair is not too terrible. Once again, at the end, we'll compare it. Let's look at the beta and let's mask that out. All right. OK, this one's going to be slightly different because I know people were complaining about the white background. There's many parts to getting a good selection. Being able to work against a complex background is one, but sometimes a complex subject is another one. And yes, not all photos are against a clean background, but guess what? Not all photos are against complex backgrounds either. And if you're the photographer and you're shooting, a little pre-planning can actually save you a lot of work in post. So even though the background is simple, all these spokes and everything here is complex. This is a difficult thing to cut out even against the white seamless. So let's select subject and let's hit the mask. OK, we're losing a lot of the spokes. Usually I go in with the brush and I retouch these. And we're going to choose select subject. So I hope you guys get it. What I'm trying to do here is real world. All right, so let's create the mask. Look at that. Spokes are better. OK, so now we're going to use a couple of stock images. OK, so look at this one. It's a complex image, a lot going on. Yes, it's out of focus on the background. It does make it easier, but let's choose remove background. This is using the regular version of Photoshop. All right, not bad. It's isolated this, the topic pretty good. Let's have a look at the beta. Remove background. All right, one more. So here we go. Let's just let's just do the remove background just to make it nice and quick and easy to see what's going on. Now remember, hitting remove background is exactly the same as creating the selection and making the mask, just in case you were worried. But let me undo it. And in this case, I'm going to do select subject because somebody's going to say I'm cheating. And, uh, and we'll create a mask. Perfect. And let's do the same thing. We'll just do select subject. And let's create a mask. All right, so let's have a look at the side by side comparison. And if you're saying, well, these were still too easy, my photos are worse than this, well, maybe it's time to consider some photography lessons. Ooh. But of course, I'm, I'm doing this all in humor because I know you could be a graphic designer, you could be a retoucher, and you are being handed somebody else's photos. I, I get it. All right, let's have a look at the comparisons. So in all of these, on the left is going to be the current shipping version of Photoshop, and on the right is going to be the new algorithm in the beta. So let's start with the picture of Megan. Here it is on white. And now remember, I'm not saying this is perfect, 
I'm just showing you it's an improvement on what it was. Look at that. This is going to be a lot easier to fix. The rest of her outfit looks pretty good. I like how it got in these gaps. And then we look at the feet. Let's look at it against black because that will show some other edges. And then, of course, the tell all the red. Looks at the one of Taylor. So if we look at it against white, we can see the hair looks more finely detailed in the old one, a little softer around here, but we'll see what it looks like when we put it against a black instead. Let's have a look at the black. Okay, that shows the cutout. Let's zoom right in, look at the detail. See these little gaps in here? The hair. The quality of the edge. If we look in here, it's a bit of quality edge. And a little selector mask could definitely get that hair. Okay, let's look at the next one with the bike. We'll look at this against a white. Big thing you can see here, spokes are just didn't get them. I was never able to get things like that. The chain, the feet. Let's have a look on the new version. Chain and feet are good. Spokes are really good. Brakes and everything. Okay, so we're looking at white. Let's change it to black. See the quality of those edges a little better. Yeah, it needs, it's a little soft there. But compared to this, hmm. And then let's look up here where the helmet is, the hair. Let's switch that to red so we can see it better. Let's have a look over here. Yeah, definitely a vast improvement. And if we look at this one, well, the obvious thing, the new one got the flag where it was just missing here. Let's zoom in a little closer. 100%. Let's look at it against the white background. We can see the edges of the hair is not very good. Missing her collar there. Let's look on the other side. Hair is not perfect, but certainly a lot better. And look at the nice sharp edge there. Compare that to here where we just get all that webbing. And let's have a look at this one. All right, so we look here, we got some rough kind of edges here. A little bit of background here. So this did a reasonable job finding the silhouette. All right, so we've got these kind of chunky edges again. Let's see what that looks like on a black. Yeah, we can see those edges and stuff better. Okay, let's look at the new algorithm. Definitely smoother there. It seems to soften the edge on some of these things, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. And then when you do have these soft edges, you can actually just grab the mask hit control L for levels and you can try to put it in it and you can just kind of choke that mask. Obviously you can do that on the new and old version, but there's many ways to fix these things. Once again, this is the initial selection. It's not the full extraction. Um, all right, let's put this against a red and we can see a little bit of semi-transparency kind of at work here where there's none of it there. So it looks like it's trying to find that transparency. It's not fully getting it, but it's nice that it's making an effort. So let me clarify once again, I have no vested an interest in trying to make this look better than it is or making it look worse than it is. This is not a review, it's not paid, it's not sponsored. This is just purely looking at the advances to see, hey, these selection tools, have they improved? I believe they have. Are they gonna save you time in your selections? I believe they are. Are they perfect? No. And I'm actually quite happy about that because that means I still have a job showing you guys how to refine the edges. So I think this is definitely a huge improvement and it's gonna save us a lot of time in doing those initial selections and masking things out. So it looks like humans are still needed. And if you wanna look at my previous video, which was not how complex a subject can it pull from, but it was more like how good are the edges, check that video out here and drop a comment. Love to know your thoughts in here. And if you're new, welcome to the cafe. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. You won't miss any of my videos. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.